What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Ted from Ted's Basement. Today, we are going to be talking about Magic the Gathering's 30th Anniversary Countdown Kit. It's going to be $149 on the Secret Layer website, and they're claiming that this is going to be sort of a 30-day countdown pack crack. This could be something that's pretty fun because we'll all be doing it sort of at the same time. Let's break down what this is first so we kind of understand. This is sort of like a holiday calendar style secret layer drop that they're doing for the 30th anniversary. What you're going to get is 30 individually wrapped cards and the idea is that you will open one a day for 30 days. Magic is claiming that the drop will be timed so that you can have the cards by December. That way, you can start on December 1 with everybody else. You can do one a day and end on December 30th. Each pack will come with one card. Each pack will represent a year from 1993 all the way up to 2022. So you get a breadth of the 30 years of Magic's history. You will have a 30% chance to get a foil in that pack. We're also gonna be doing a sneak peek here in the video in just a moment. So I'll let you know when that comes. If you don't like spoilers and you don't wanna see any of the cards, I'll let you know you can click off the video at that point. We're also throwing in uh, some sticker tabs. I guess like if you want to hang the boosters around your house, I could actually see do it like picking a wall and doing like all of them in an order, almost making like a, like a 30 day calendar out of it. And like maybe grabbing one uh, off each day and cracking the pack. We're not going to spoil anything just yet. I'm going to kind of scroll through a little bit. You can kind of see they have the different years on them starting in 1993. They've got the different color patterns. So each one's going to look a little bit different. I'm thinking actually I want to do like a 30 day pack crack series on the channel. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that pack crack 30 day series. And now kind of what I want to do is like, let's, let's click on each one of these packs and they're going to spoiler one card from each of the years from each of the packs. So we're not going to be able to see what all the cards are for each year, but we can look at one each. So right now we're going to start our spoilers. Again, if you don't want to see that, look away, click off the video. Uh, here we go. 1993. Obviously, this is not 1993's art. So what they've done is they're collaborating with artists to bring us fresh new designs to commemorate the 30th anniversary they're borderless which is cool let's go to 1994 so again borderless uh, i did see some of them are going to have the vintage border too so they're not all going to be like this i don't know to what degree you could get vintage versus the the, the collaborative you know modern look again borderless so i really love the the vintage look i mean that's the nostalgia I, I kind of wish I could get a full set of like all vintage, I, but again, I don't know if they're going to have vintage versus modern um, breakdown like that. But I do love the modern stuff too. Like, look at this art. You know, all this art is beautiful. I think this is, we're at 1997, I think here. Here's 98 smokestack. Here's 99 and 2000. I'll go back to the center screen view here. And I, I, guys, again, I love this artwork. All this new stuff is pleasing to the eye. I just want maybe a few more vintage. I think I, I looked at a couple, like Chrome Mox has to be coming up. Like that one sort of kept that, that vintage look to it. There it is, okay. You can see it's a mythic. Oh, I love that Chrome Mox. I hope I, hope I pull that. Glimpse of nature. Lightning Helix, you know, for the price point. Okay, five bucks a card. I mean, it's not like insane. I kind of would have liked this to be like $99 for the 30, you know, kind of like that $3 a pack, $3 a card price point. We haven't seen prices like that in a while where you had like $100 booster boxes were kind of very standard MSRP uh, for a while. And you know, so at five bucks, it's like slightly more. It's not horrible. I just feel like $3 would have been a slam dunk. Probably, you know, at $3, like people might even buy a couple. Like it'd be cool to have one, keep one sealed, get a set, keep it sealed, get a set, open it up. But we'll see what people do. Look at that art, man, that black and white. That's cool. I'm starting to like every once in a while seeing like a black and white card or grayscale. It's just uh, something, you know, a little bit different. 
I love blasts of color and shading and stuff like that, but every once in a while, it's just nice to see something different. Okay, so here we go. Vintage sort of look to it. Of course, you can see we've got, you know, copyright 2022, and you're going to have your uh, promo logo there. It kind of has that old school border look and feel to it. Updated artwork. And remember, 30% of the packs you open are going to be foil, at least I don't know if that's going to be exact or if that's the target. So maybe people will be getting a little more, a little less. I don't know. Unless it is exactly 30%. That means you're only going to get 10 foils out of the 30 cards. So for people who care to have that full foil set, you're going to be doing some trading, some buying, some selling. Beautiful Dragon Lord here. 2016. Here, let's go back to the center view again. Here's 2017 coming up next. Ooh, Nicol Bolas. So I'm a Nicol Bolas fan. I don't know if you guys remember, there was an old set. It was actually like a box set. It was like a cross between a tabletop game and a card game. It was arch enemy Nicol Bolas. It was awesome. Where you had uh, one player could be Nicol Bolas, and he was like a super powered player. And the other players were, you know, planeswalkers. But that Nicol Bolas player had special cards in there that were giving extra abilities. And I think you actually needed multiple people to fight and play against Nicol Bolas to take him down. So it wasn't like your, your traditional format. That kind of stuff, those are just like cool, creative ideas, cool little box sets. You could just pull it off the shelf and go. I kind of like that stuff. I've got, I'm actually looking up at my shelf right now. I've got one sitting right on the shelf we are at was this 2018 let me make sure i get myself back in order here yep 2018 uh 2019 and 20 you know and you can tell like you are getting sort of a a breath of the 30 year history with new artwork this is uh kind of um an interesting experience because you put the 30 cards out the 30 packs out you open them one a day for the month like that's a unique experience. That's something that's only going to happen that one time. A lot of people around the world will be doing this all together in that same month. So that's kind of like a unique experience. So that's another reason why I think I want to do it that way. And maybe this will have somewhat of a sense of uh, community engagement if we're all sort of opening packages in December at the same time, sharing what we get, posting videos, posting shorts, Instagram feeds, whatever. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Are you interested? How do you feel about the price points? What do you think about this new artwork? Some of the cards are gonna be vintage borders, some are not. And then the 30% foiling. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. It helps out the channel a ton. It tells the algorithm this is worth watching. And if you wanna see more, don't forget to hit subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my future content. My Discord is open to everybody. If you're a patron, you get a special patron role, access to patron channels. If you are not, you are fully welcome. Go out to tedsbasement.com and click join Discord and you can jump in, chat with me on the Discord and the other community members today. If you're looking to support the channel, one of the best ways to do that is becoming a patron. Helps me pay for licenses, fees, equipment upgrades, and it just helps keep the channel running. You can also do that at tedsbasement.com and click the button that says become a patron. Thanks again, everybody for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.